The artist is the creator of beautiful things. To reveal art and conceal the artist is art's aim. The critic is he who can translate into another manner or a new material his impression of beautiful things. Wilde's dress was considered extravagant and flamboyant as he was always eager to fulfill his theory that life should imitate art. The highest as the lowest form of criticism is a mode of autobiography. Those who find ugly meanings in beautiful things are corrupt without being charming. This is a fault. Posing here in New York, Wilde toured America giving a lecture on these theories which was originally entitled The Beautiful. Those who find beautiful meanings in beautiful things are the cultivated. For these, there is hope. They are the elect, to whom beautiful things mean only beauty. Wilde certainly felt that he was one of the elected. In his personal life, he was a collector of many things, all of which served purely aesthetic purposes. One of his main pleasures was fine blue china. There is no such thing as a moral or an immoral book. Books are well written or badly written. That is all. The original publication of Dorian Gray in Lippincott's magazine did not include the preface. Wilde wrote it in response to negative reviews, particularly those which deemed his book as immoral. The artist can express everything. Thought and language are to the artist instruments of an art. Vice and virtue are to the artist materials for an art. Wilde enjoyed this duality of vice and virtue in art, shown here in one of his favorite paintings, Love and Death by George Watts. It is the spectator, and not life, that art really mirrors. This idea is one of the main themes within the novel. Dorian, the main character, retains his youthful appearance while his portrait shows the strain of his evil acts. Therefore, the portrait mirrors Dorian's soul rather than his outward appearance. Diversity of opinion about a work of art shows that the work is new, complex, and vital. When critics disagree, the artist is in accord with himself. Wilde was often ridiculed for his work and lifestyle, like in the caricature shown here. However, he dealt well with criticism, perhaps because of this belief that controversy renders a piece of art as complex and vital. We can forgive a man for making a useful thing, as long as he does not admire it. The only excuse for making a useless thing is that one admires it intensely. Wilde liked to wear flowers, particularly the lily, in his buttonhole. He agreed with Ruskin, who described the lily as one of the most beautiful and useless things in the world. All art is quite useless. <laughs>